All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. This is a follow-up update on the prior video I did last year about the ongoing efforts to restore the RLC from the 60s when it still existed properly. And this is the rough shape it would have on the map. This is what it used to look like. When it had a water volume in excess of 1 trillion cubic meters of water. However, over time, because of human action in the Soviet Union, even then continuing to follow on through the post-Soviet period, as the Central Asian republics still utilized that same infrastructure, down to a point where at its lowest, the total water volume remaining in the RLC across the different, effectively, lakes at this point that compose its remains was down to only about 1% of its original water volume. However, efforts have been in progress to restore that, increasing the amount of water that actually flows to and reaches the RLC basin from the rivers that used to feed it until so much of their water started being diverted. And now, over the last couple of years, the RLC has managed to be returned to about three or more percent of its original water volume, with the bulk of that two and a half percent or so, or about 27 billion cubic meters, being in the northern portion, that set of three triplet lakes that are conjoined together up there. And they are continuing to obviously expand and refill their former footprint that you can even see outlined there on the satellite photos. But once they reach their original footprint, then the restoration project can begin allowing spillover of the water that comes into them from the rivers into the larger, broader basin, or the southern RLC, and begin finally seeing a gradual, permanent restoration of that. Now, this all happened throughout the Soviet period because the Soviet Union wanted to turn the Central Asian Republics into a large agricultural area. And they did that by creating a bunch of canals, diversion canals off of the rivers that fed the RLC to channel a bunch of water across the landscapes for irrigation. And the amount of water that was diverted was consistently beyond the threshold that would have allowed the RLC to maintain its water level at the very least. And obviously after the Soviet Union collapsed, yeah, as we headed into the 90s and 2000s, the Central Asian Republics were, you know, still using that Soviet infrastructure, which now, after many decades, had decayed and degraded, so it was even worse. So water was constantly just seeping away into the surrounding ground of the, you know, 100-mile-long irrigation trenches. And now the already not-that-great pipes for the irrigation systems at the ends of those trenches, many of them were now leaking enormously. So the Central Asian nations, predominantly Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, they have been for the past decade and a half doing massive overhauls, massive reworking or effectively remaking of these massive irrigation channels, actually insulating them in many places with thin cement or concrete layers, and then at the more narrow channel points later on with irrigation tarps, basically. Sound. And this actually making the irrigation system a decent irrigation system, or the transportation portion of it a decent system, has allowed them to reduce the amount of water actually diverted away from the rivers to begin with, because so much more of that water now actually makes it the entire journey to the agricultural fields. So they have greatly increased the amount of water that's allowed to just continue flowing down the rivers into the RLC. And they are furthering the project as they are now working on the end portions or the, the actual irrigation systems at the fields and the lines of pipe work that come from the ends of the irrigation channels to deliver the water to the farmland irrigation systems. And switching their irrigation over to more modern irrigation methods, more modern, less water intensive near ground irrigation types, then they will be able to even further reduce the amount of water that they need to divert from the rivers in the first place. And thus the amount of water that can be allowed to continue flowing down into the RLC will increase as time goes on. So for the next number of years, 
We'll probably see it continue to be restored by 1% of its water volume each year until we hit probably the 2030s as they complete some of these further things. Then it might be able to pick up some speed, maybe 1.5 or 2% per year. And that will be it for this one. So thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. There's a link in the description to a Google Drive with all kinds of folders full of different graphs and charts and data compilations covering all kinds of different topics across different metrics. There's a link below that to my photography Instagram. There's a link to my cat's YouTube channel in the top in comment. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.